The Adam and Wax Show. Listen, I got hit up recently. ICP was going to be in town. I've already interviewed them together once and a solo episode as well. I started thinking like, all right, how can we switch it up? How can we make it a little interesting? And then I thought, who's the most entertaining senior citizen that I know? <laughs> I got the biggest rooster, my man Wack 100, and we talking to the boys. The what legends. Well, look, why is he got to yeah. be a senior citizen? <laughs> right. I'm probably older than him. <laughs> but he, I mean, he's a senior citizen to me. He's my senior, senior citizen. citizen. Yeah. My, you 40 what? I'm 40. What are you, 49? No, fool. 46. How are you 40? Oh, damn, See, man. You guys are all young. You're right. I'm the oldest motherfucker. 46. I, I could have swore Google said 47. Never. I'm a 77. Never. <laughs> no, never. It's coming next year. Oh, man. No, this you, year. You, oh. I'll be 47 in April. This year. Man, you guys are some youngsters. Yeah? <laughs> Why? What? You guys willing to admit your ages? Yeah, I'm 51. I'm about to be 49. I'll be 50 April. this year. Yo, okay, I'm sorry for why, old shaming. Let me tell you why they don't mind admitting their ages. Because, you know, I got to, you know, I'm doing some research. Because I'm like, yo, who the f are these dudes? Because right? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why I don't know. I pull their shit up. I'm seeing their numbers. I was like, yo, these motherfuckers got numbers. They just sold like 15, 20 million records, some crazy shit. I'm like, why the f don't I know these dudes? So I'm like, when did they come out? So I go to Spotify, right? I'm scrolling down. I don't know how many motherfucking albums and EPs y'all drop. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm sitting all these dates. 04, this, this, and I finally get to it. 1991. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I know how I missed them. <laughs> We're before your time. No. <laughs> I was gangbanging. Uh, <laughs> all right. And the only white dude, I think he's white, that I remember was the rapping Duke. He was white, yes. Remember the rapping Duke? Yes, I do. John Wayne dude? Da -ha, yeah, da -ha, da -ha. Da -ha. I never saw what he looked like. Yeah, I just figured yeah. he was white. Because you're yeah. talking about 91, we're talking about NWA, mm -hmm. that f***ing there. I'm from the West Coast. We also the police. Mm -hmm. The rapping Duke. All that shit's <laughs> going on, right? Uh, I don't know, was the Beastie Boys here yet? 91, yeah. Yeah, Beastie Boys. Yeah. I did the Beastie Boys. I bought talent show at the Boys and Girls Club. You performed a Beastie Boys One song. One lonely beastie I be. All by myself without nobody. <laughs> Wait the a minute, so who can deny License to Ill? That record oh, yeah, inspired yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. straight out of But I think he's talking like, he, he's right. rapping the Cube. demo right there. That's no, the whole ass song. What? Right what? You, ever hear, you ever hear Ice Cube's early shit, CIA? Mm, I'm it's not sure. straight Beastie Boys. Yo, it's, mm. it's, it's, the it's Beastie Boys up. was accepted in the streets. Mm. We with the Beastie Boys. All right? day. Rick Rubin did that record. All day long, right? That's so I'm it. like, okay. Because remember, I started doing time in like 89, 12 years old. So by the time 91 hit, I believe I was in YA. So at this point in time, I'm fucked up. Like, I'm a fucked up human. I'm I'm all the way distracted. Right? They used to call him Crip Killer Whack. Right? Damn. So, Not anymore. Now he's very apolitical. <laughs> but now so, he's crippled. <laughs> no, but see, because look, when you first caught me, like, who the fuck? Of these dudes, but when I went and pulled y'all numbers, I'm like, oh no, jokes on me. These motherfuckers got numbers. Did you watch the OG interview that I sent you? No, I checked the interview out. Okay, bro. okay. And you the interview up. If it wasn't for them, the interview wouldn't have been. I shit. wore the face paint. <laughs> okay, I seen you. I went hard. I seen you. I didn't now, even do the the right kind of face paint. People were commenting saying Adam had the now, face paint. They got the good face paint. I'm like, God damn it, I now, botched it. You know, I I start reading. I'm like, well, now nah, I'm interested. Okay. I don't read up on no fucking artists. I don't give a fuck. If I'm not manage you, you ain't signed to me. I don't know you from back there. I don't give a fuck. And f But for the record, 91 was very early. I found out about them in 97 or 98, which is the when point. they really kind of emerged on no, a national stage, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. See, they got, I'm like, okay, these are fucking <clears throat> white dudes out of fucking Detroit, right? Right? 91. Okay, so the closest thing I can bring to it is like MC Breed, but he was from Flint. Flint, right. Mm -hmm. There's some serious shit going on, right? So I'm like, all right, so I'm reading this shit, I'm reading this shit, right? And I'm wondering like, oh, I'm f***ing with these dudes, right? Mm -hmm. Until I seen these motherfuckers is beefing with my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I re you know, I didn't want to show up today. <laughs> <laughs> because... I feel like when you beef with one of my favorite rappers, mm -hmm. I the, feel like a sellout. That's all. Now, the only way I feel like I was going to show up today is to contact Eminem in some way. 
Man, man, this is how we're gonna get through them. Yeah, we're, 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 here we go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we got some M and M's. I will be easy. If you here with us, I don't want to feel like a sellout, <laughs> punk bitch. Okay. Nah, it, All right. So now I'm reading it, and I'm like, how did these dudes start beefing? Now I just want to know: is this shit true? I see 1997. No, it was it, ha it happened. Fucking flyer. Oh, it happened. We, yeah. we got, did we it got, start over a flyer? Yeah. So he kind of like false. Promoted you guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah sort of. Ah. He just had our name on a flyer, like special invited guest. Right. And we and we walked in. Maybe. He, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But also, did y'all show up? Though. Hold on, because there's more to it. That's what irked us. But the real deal was his brother was a DJ. Yeah. Okay. All that Eminem had out at the time was that first EP. Right. Now hold blowing up. the fuck up. Right. Right. Hi, my name is. Everywhere, so even alternative is, rock well, this, stations. This is before that. This is when he had just "Don't Give a Fuck" was his big first single. You know, mm. say before my name but, is. But John, your brother, yeah, because he, my brother, he was a DJ, DJ. and he he'd work in some clubs with DJ Rec, which was the Cheddar Bob guy from the Eight Mile movie. Got gotcha. you. So my brother was down with him. You know what I'm saying? And he got an advanced <clears> copy. Yeah, so he had a, a, a cassette of, of, of the shit, right? Of Eminem's album, that boy he's waiting on, right? So you guys show up to the. Show. But that, that's irrelevant. No. Here's what happened. When we had that advanced copy, we're bumping it, and right right down the lyrics, uh, Eminem have a, had a line said, fuck ICP by my CD. And we were like, what the bars. And then we're there like, oh, bars. damn. So you guys, what, by what, 18, 20 or something? No, See, what we you were... understand, too, I mean, because he was he was, he was was on the scene when we were local as well. There was some bars. But he, he hadn't honed his Eminem skills like he did once he got with Dre. Mm. You know, because, you know, Dre will put more fuckers through it. You oh, know I heard saying? the album before, the Dre album, yeah. and it was cool, but it definitely wasn't something that was right. going to take the world you know by wait, storm. Wait, wait, you know? wait, wait. He said, fuck ICP by, by my, my CD. CD. Right. It's yes. a good rhyme. Nah. It's a good rhyme. In the streets, because, you know, Detroit is a small but big place. If you know where motherfucker at, you know. If you don't, you know. <clears throat> motherfucker hide out on your ass in Inks somewhere quick, right? <laughs> right. You know, shout out to the Saigon Projects. But did you guys know where he was at? No, at it wasn't time? even like that. Y'all didn't even looking know. Looking we, 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 were, we were two totally different worlds. We, we were in the world where we were pressing our own CDs and cassettes, and we were selling them out the trunk through consignments, hitting all the stores. He was at the hip hop shop and the freestyle battles in the circles. He wasn't Looking slanging for a records, deal, you know? right? He was shopping. We were slanging. Y'all slanging. Yeah, we were, you know what I'm saying. So it, there, those are it, two big different worlds in Detroit. We like, were fucking with guys like <clears throat> Esham, yeah. who's another rapper who was doing it himself. You mm -hmm. know, Legend. Uh, the Dayton family when they came out, and they even, was doing even, it themselves. Even, uh, Kid Rock before Even when he was Kid local Rock in Detroit when he was just a before, rapper, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But other rappers did it did it the other way, you know, which is you know entering can you know freestyle contests and being shop, seen right, yeah. and getting signed, you know. So we just we just had different circles. That in and of itself, the fact that there was a bunch of bubbling white rappers from the Detro no. Detroit around that time is like very historically unlikely because there was so after Vanilla Ice. It kind of just cut the water off for every yeah, white rapper. It felt ice. like, and and then <clears throat> not until Eminem did we really start to see like, oh, okay, white people are gonna have popular rap music. Whereas you know, you guys, yeah, the Detroit, Detroit scene, Kid Rock, he was fucking huge see, around that era yeah. before he went Trump cowboy dude. See, I think, and I'm looking because I'm like, okay, Eminem sold like 500 million. Fucking records, yeah, ridiculous, right? Right, right? they they like 15, 20, right? So I'm asking myself. What was the difference? Let me tell you what the difference is. When it comes to any nationality outside of just being black, if you're white, right, and you're rapping, and you get accepted by the urban side, then all the white people will come claim you. Mm. If you're Mexican and you get accepted by the urban side, then all the Mexicans will come claim you, right? M, at that time, his when his shit changed was Dr. Dre. So he already had... A cheater in. Yeah, he had his pass. Right, right in. So I, cause I'm, cause I'm listening to y'all music. I'm like, okay, maybe they shit some real white boy corny shit. I'm like, I'm like, no, these motherfuckers got music. Mm -hmm. So I missed you guys because I, that's when I was establishing my gang bang reputation. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure they understand. No, it's real <laughs> shit. Because when you first called me, it's a big country. It took you a week. I wasn't paying your ass no attention. Till the other day, <laughs> and I started doing my research. The first thing made me keep researching is when I was scrolling, bro, mm -hmm. on these motherfuckers.
his albums and EPs. I don't, bro. How many fucking albums and EPs don't know. y'all dropped? Well, I ain't in front. I honestly, lost we got a, we got a, um, we got a, a good. Yeah, I don't want to say small. But compared to other artists, shit. our notoriety, and we've talked about this, ICP's notoriety is, is much bigger than ICP's actual Bro, success. Mm. Shit. 